Hello, I just wanted to show you what Adobe Premiere looks like and to show you um, a small snippet of some videos from San Antonio. So, Adobe Premiere is for editing videos. Let me go ahead and pull up the project I'm working on for the videos that were taken when we were in San Antonio. So, I'll just come here. I'm going to open my project file program loads okay and so this is kind of where it starts out you have your uh, all the videos that you import and um, you're essentially wanting to move them down here to the timeline where you do your uh, non-destructive editing on the video and the audio and then of course what you're doing is represented here in the preview uh, box and so you can do typical editing like cutting, splicing, ripple deleting um, you can do uh, color grading um, you can do all kinds of various effects some of them um, only a few of them goofy like you know adding a pretty border to the thing a lot of them are for correcting big problems like perspective and um, unstabilized video um, chroma key, timing, all that sort of thing. Um, so really, really useful effects for both video and audio. And uh, it's even got some presets that allow you to match the video that you took to various types of cameras or film stocks. Um, here you can see some of them are, um, you know, Fuji Rila 500D Kodak. Um, you've got things like Cinespace 50, Cinespace 25. Um, I know there's some others that match the coloring to some of the high-end 4K and 8K cameras that they use, like the RED and the IMAX, things of that nature. Anyways, so this is what um, a full-on project looks like. And um, you just go through it and edit it, et cetera, et cetera. And um, at some point you can um, export it to whatever your final product is going to be. But just to kind of show you a simple overview of how Premiere works, I set up um, kind of a, a basic thing over here. Uh, let me find it. Cat, cat. So this is a video I took of a roller coaster. Um, it's just a video of cat Oh, go away, go away. Anyway, a video of people on a roller coaster. Uh, what do you do? Very simple clip. So, um, I just want to do a couple things real quick. I just want to kind of change the coloring a little bit. Um, and um, just kind of clean up the video a little bit. So, video effects uh, here. Um, for color correction. I just want to do um, color balancing to the clip. So you apply that effect and you come over here and you can kind of uh, just edit about with the uh, shadows, mediums, and highlights for different uh, colors that are in your particular scene. So I'll probably go here to highlight for blue to try and draw the sky. There we go. And probably do a little mid on the greens, no, not mid, maybe it's shadow, as I'm trying to bring out those trees as well. Uh, so a little bit, so there's a little more green. Um, I just, you know, you have to be careful. You don't want it to start to look too fake, which actually this is starting to look kind of fake. So, um, hang on, I've gone and moved my timeline. So I think I'm actually going to erase the color balancing, um, like so, drag that back over. Um, I was really thinking maybe it was more like the saturation, but I can't find a saturation control at the moment here. This is brightness contrast. I think this is probably one of those foundational things that are worth adjusting. I think it's brightness is acceptable. Anyways, so there we go. Now, here's the thing about this clip. We're about to, to do our finalization here. The thing about this clip this is um, actually shot at 120 frames per second. That means it can be slowed down to, 
We're going to slow it down by a factor of four, so it's going to run at 25% speed, and it will appear, it'll be rendered as 30 frames a second, and display 30 frames per second of the original 120 frames per second. So it's going to look something like this. Now this is a, a uh, pre-render version, so it's going to be a little glitchy and jumpy. So there we go. We're going to get a a really good video of the people on the roller coaster flying by. Um, so I'm happy with where this preview is now, so I'm going to go ahead and export this video. Uh, so I'm going to go export media. Um, um, default filter is fine. That file name, we're just going to give it a gibberish name. Uh, see DXNR, match source. And just going to go ahead and hit export. In theory, it's rendering. Let's go find our video. So here we go. I'm going to play the video. This is the uh, final product. So you notice the quality is a little bit lacking. Um, everything's a little bit fuzzy and etc. Cetera, etc. Cetera. And uh, this is not a problem problem with Premiere. It's a problem with the camera itself. Uh, and it's not a problem. It's just that that's kind of the quality it can handle. So it's very sharp at uh, lower frames per second. It can do 2K video, but when you shoot 120 frames per second, it's shooting at 720p and I'm sure it's taxing the hardware of the camera quite a bit because this is the the, the best quality it can produce at 120 frames per second but nonetheless um, this was a good little exercise for this video so that's how Premiere works and that's how I'm editing the videos for San Antonio have a good day